Hi everyone, we're back with another tutorial and today we're going to be discussing about the process of buying Solana in your Phantom account. So the first step is to obviously log into your Phantom wallet and once you've logged into your wallet, you do see the different options as to how you can buy Solana or any crypto for that matter. So the first option is to buy it by using your debit or credit card and the second option is to actually deposit that crypto from another wallet which would be more preferable so i will emphasize this that the first option tends to be a little bit more expensive and that's why it's not preferred however i'm going to show you both so that you would be able to have the benefit of using whichever suits your desires so the first option when you're attempting to buy with a debit or credit card the first thing you need to do is to select the buy icon here on the right side of your display and that will take you to the list of different tokens that you are able to purchase since we are talking about solana on this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and select solana and this will provide me with an option where i can insert the amount of money i'm willing to spend on purchasing solana so for the sake of this tutorial i will select 100 dollars which would mean I would be purchasing $100 worth of Solana. And the next step would be to select credit card and debit card. So with that selected, you would move on further to the providers that are facilitating this option. And that would be um, the different providers such as Unlimit, MoonPay, and Topper. As you can see, for now, Topper seems to have the lowest price. However, if you have any account with these providers, you can definitely use them. So the next step would be to select the provider that you want and you can proceed to purchase your Solana. With that in mind, let's proceed to the next option, which would be to deposit Solana from another wallet. So to initiate this process, we would first select the receive icon on the left side of your display, and that would show you the list of tokens and their receiving ID correspondingly. So for this example, since we are looking for Solana, I'm going to go ahead and copy Solana's receiving ID, and then we'll move on to the other wallet that we are using. For this example, I am going to be using my Binance account wallet. And once I have selected Solana, I would be able to see different options and actions as to what I want to do. So we can convert a deposit or withdraw. Since we are looking to withdraw from this account, I will select withdraw. And then once you've done that, you would see the option where you would be able to paste the ID that you've copied from your phantom account so once you've made sure that the id is correct you would go ahead and insert the amount that you want to withdraw and we do have a minimum limit which would be 0.1 solana so in my instance the withdraw button is not going to be activated but if you have anything that's more than 0.1 solana this should definitely be active and you would be allowed to withdraw and this will be reflected on your phantom account as well and you can definitely confirm by going to your phantom wallet and checking the display so that's pretty much it on how you can purchase solana in phantom i hope it was helpful thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one